How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike and welcome back to episode 16 of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So today we are on another mission. We have to go to Saffron City to save Silphco and Saffron City from Team Rocket. But before we do that, I thought it would be fun to go to the power plant because there's one more Pokemon that we can catch since we have not been to the power plant yet. So let's surf through the water over here and look at all these weird Pokemon running on the ocean. The executes. That looks so funny hopping around. Let me go back over there and look at it. Look at that thing just hopping around on the water. <laughs> it looks so funny. But anyway, let's go in here and get a brand new Pokemon. So what is it going to be? Ooh, sweet, a Magneton, and that's actually really funny because I think you could normally catch this guy here. But let's take a Magneton power plant, let's do it. Alright, so I'm gonna use a berry. Let's try using a Pineapp Berry for once. I have not used a Pineapp Berry, like, ever, but I think this gives you more items if you successfully catch a Pokemon, or if you successfully throw the ball straight. So, let's see. Will it give me anything special if I catch it on the first try? Come on, Magneton, be easy, get in the ball... Yeah! Alright, let's see what that berry does. Caught ourselves a Magneton. Now let's give a warm welcome to R2-D2 on the team. I'm really excited for R2-D2 because R2 has a typing that we just have not had before with electric and steel and some pretty good moves and a nice strong special attack. I'm going to put away Anakin for a little bit now because I've been using Anakin basically ever since I caught him. So I want to give some other guys a little bit of a time to shine. And I also went and got the TM for U-turn from the uh, Celadon City Pokemart because I think it's actually going to be really useful. We have a lot of dangerous powerful battles coming up in Silphco, so I think anything that'll give us the advantage is something that we'll really need. So let's get going over to the Silphco building. You see, Team Rainbow Rocket is everywhere in this town. They basically have taken over here. It's terrible. Now let's go inside and let's start saving the day. We've got to save these poor people. Receptionist, you there! I have to tell you that our office is a bit of a disaster right now. A real disaster! This is no place for kids, not when there are so many dangerous people around. Aw, oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Hey, it's Blue and YouTube. What are you guys doing together? Oh, you're... you're the Blue! The Blue! That's right, he's the Blue. Poketips, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? I could ask the same thing of you, YouTube. Well, Team Rocket, no surprise. Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place. So are you. You and me are on the same wavelength, YouTube. We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please. That's right. Come on, it's time we did a little strategy planning. So in short, the plan is this. Poketips is going to drive Team Rocket out of Silphco just like he plans. But it'd be crazy to try something like that alone, so YouTube is going with him. Right, I don't need YouTube. While you pipsqueaks do that, I'm going to do a loop around all of Kanto, squashing out Team Rocket wherever I find them. And while I'm at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell the bigwigs there what's going on. Awesome, do you think the Elite Four will help us? Maybe. So that's the battle plan. Time to split up and put it into action. Heh, <laughs> if only it was that simple. Fact is, there's only one more thing we've got to- Fact is, there's one more thing we've got to do here first. Poketips, YouTube! If you want me to leave this place up to you two, newbies, you gotta prove to me that you can do it. Ooh, so we've got to battle Blue! Oh no, he's a champion! Do you think we could take him on? Well, let's find out. I think we can do it right now with this team. Windu, Phasma, Wampa, Chewy, R2, and Finn. We have some good type coverage here. Everybody here has basically proven themselves, and the new guys are pretty good too. So I think we can do this. Let's go. Let's battle Blue. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. Don't kill any of my Pokemon. We're going to take you out. We're going to make this look easy. Pokemon Trainer Blue with a Moltres! Oh, but we're leading off with our own! Let's show him who the better Moltres is! Come on out, Windu! Come on out, buddy! Are we higher level than him? Yes, we are! Sweet! So what I'm gonna do here is try going for Air Slash until he basically dies. And if we get lucky, we can flinch him a whole bunch and he won't be able to do anything to us. He's got Double Team! Ugh, Double Team! Now, Air Slash already has lower accuracy than most moves. I think it's at 95 base act. Yeah, it's at 95. So hopefully we keep hitting. Oh no, we got the first miss. That might be annoying. And Drill Pack's doing a decent amount. But come on, come on, buddy. Hit him with an air slash. Don't miss. You can do- No! No, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, now I gotta use a potion right now. Come on, Hyper Potion, and we're gonna try again for the air slashes. Please hit. Because that Drill Pack is doing a lot of damage, and he keeps hitting you every single turn. You know what we deserve right now? A good flinch. 
a very good flinch. There we go. Flinch! 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 Yes! Yes! There we go. Now just him one more time with Air Slash, and that's it. Nice job, Windu. I knew you had it in you. That looked a little shaky in the beginning, but you can do it. I knew you could. Alright, five more to go. Seedra. Alright, that does not look too fun for me, so we're going to get out of here. I'm going to use the brand new U-turn so I can do a little bit of damage while I switch out, and I know we're going to be faster than Seedra. So yeah, look how much damage we do for switching now. I really like that. And we get to bring in... Finn, who I think, I think Finn will be able to take anything he wants to throw at me pretty well, and then we could absorb his energy with the Mega Drain. So yeah, he's going for Surf, so we got a very good switch in there. Does an alright amount of damage, let's just hope he doesn't have an Ice move or a Psychic move, something to hurt me right now. Oh, he's switching, what are you switching into? Arcanine, oh, that's no fun. That's no fun at all. But we do have a Pokemon that should be decent against Arcanine. I could definitely bring out Phasma. We get some health back, too. Oh, wow. Back to 104. I'm, I'm definitely liking that. So come on out, Phasma. Do your thing against Arcanine. Let's see what it's going to do to us. Hopefully not too much. I love the blue battle music. Ooh, Fire Punch. <laughs> That's weird. I can only imagine what Arcanine using Fire Punch must look like. He's probably getting up on his legs and lifting up one of those paws and going, Pow! Fire Punch! Alright, let's hit him with a nice waterfall. Wash that thing away. And he's not switching, interestingly enough. Nice. Arcanine is done. That's two Pokemon down. Four more to go. Clefable, alright. I think we could stay in against this thing. I am a little scared. But I think we should be alright. It would be nice if we got a flinch here, too. No. Oh, he has Thunder Punch. Come on, we can tank it. Nice job, Phasma! I'm loving that! Good boy! Or girl. <laughs> That's why I named you Phasma, because you're a girl. And Waterfall will take that thing out. Get out of here! That was cute, you trying Thunder Punch against me. That's not going to work out too well for you. Alright, a Beedrill. Is this going to be the Mega? Yes, it is! Mega Beedrill! I called it! Now, for Mega Beedrill, let's bring back out... Windu here. I think Windu should do really well against this thing. If it wants to go for a bug move, well, we've got it covered. If it wants to do something else, we'll see what happens. Lovely kiss. So it tried putting me to sleep. But I'm not too fond of that. So let's go for a... Oh. It's gotta hit me. Smooching me with those nasty Beedrill lips. Or maybe it uses a stinger to put you to sleep. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm just not liking it. So I guess I'll have to use an Awakening here. Which is annoying, and it outspeeds me too, so even... It'll go for its attack. Oh, it's going for U-turn. It has U-turn too. Doesn't do too much, which is good. And we woke up, so... Overall, not a bad turn. He's got another Seedra? Wait a second, did he just... Oh wait, no, he swapped out the Seedra originally. <laughs> I forgot he swapped out. Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing again. Oh wait, 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 I have U-turn. Let's do that. We're going to go for U-Turn, get some more damage off on this guy, and then go back out into uh, Finn over here. And now this thing is on very low health, so we'll be able to take it out really easily. He's doing the same thing, going for Surf again. And again, it does so little damage to me. Finn is really good. I'm so glad we caught Finn. I'm so glad we caught him. So we'll go for Mega Drain. Oh, high jump kick, but he missed me, killed himself. Oh, poor Seedra. That's actually more annoying for me. I wanted to recover some health. Ugh. Alright, so he's bringing out the Beedrill again. Now, the problem here is I don't really think there's anything that we can do to the Beedrill with Finn. So I'm gonna have to bring out Windu again. I'm not liking how low Windu's health is getting. But I know whenever this Beedrill wants to throw at me, we can probably tank it. So we'll see what it does. We'll see what it does. Lovely kiss. Again! Stop kissing me, you nasty Beedrill! I'm sick of your kisses! But I guess I'll take this opportunity to uh, heal up with the Hyper Potion. He's probably going to swap out again. Actually, no. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. That's more important right now. We'll wake up first. He'll probably go for a U-turn again, because I'm sure that's like his strongest bug-type move. If all he's doing is U-turn against me and lovely kissing, that means that Beedrill doesn't have anything for uh, Windu at all. And he's got a Nidoking. Now, what am I going to do against Nidoking here? 
Uh, let's just go for a Hyper Potion. Let's go for a Hyper Potion, and then after that, I think Flamethrower and Air Slash will be able to take it out pretty well. That's what we'll do. Anakin would be great right here, but we don't need Anakin. Alright, he's going for Clear Smog. We already know Clear Smog isn't really the best move, so that's fine. That's fine. We'll just go for a Flamethrower, get that really, really powerful move off on him. And also, I think we can find the TM for Flamethrower in Sylphco, so Dooku is about to get a really strong fire move, too. Alright, that did so little. We'll go for a Flamethrower again, that'll take him out, and then he's just down to that Mega Beedrill. Nice, get out of here, Nido King. Good job, Windu. You are really, really crushing it in this battle. And Wampa got to level 47. That's why I wanted to go to Sylphco first, because if we did the uh, other gyms before we went to Sylphco, we would be extremely high leveled compared to everybody in here. So I wanted to come here while it's still a challenge. Please don't hit me with Lovely Kiss. Oh, you nasty, smoochy, smoochy bee drill, you. Stop it. You know what? I'm not even going to use an Awakening here. We're just going to keep going. First off, I'm out of Awakenings, but I can still use like a full heal or something. But we're just going to keep going until we wake up and get a fire move off on you. That U-turn's doing so little. Oh, but he got the crit. You annoying thing, you. Come on, wake up this turn, Windu. Wake up this turn. Don't let him do that to you. Ooh, Moonblast. That's very random, and it did... <laughs> It did so little, but he got a special attack drop. That's annoying. So now this thing might survive. Yeah, if it wasn't for that special attack drop, we would have killed it. So he'll probably go for Lovely Kiss again, put me back to sleep, and then we gotta wake up all over again to finally get through this Mega Beedrill. So we know we won this battle. This Mega Beedrill is just trying to make this go on for as long as possible. Blue, you are very annoying. Windu, wake up. He's blasting you with the moon. I, I'm sure you would feel that. Wake up, wake up. There we go. Nice! So he slept for about two turns, but now he's awake and this Beedrill is done! We defeated Blue! That's one of the tough battles down, but we have a lot more tough battles in Sylphco. You beat Pokemon Trainer Blue. Sweet! Exactly what I expect from a Pallet Town Trainer. And look at all that money! Nice! Thank you, Blue! Thank you very much! Oh man, so you really are ready for Team Rockets. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then you're next, YouTube. Come at me. I'm only getting warmed up. Alright, so we're back. We healed up. I think where the first place I want to go is the 10th floor, because I think on the 10th floor, that's where you can find the uh, TM for Flamethrower, which is very, 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 very important for me to get. But we got to go through this Team Rainbow Rocket Grunt first. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's battle you. Welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join me. Why, thank you very much. I can't wait to get Flamethrower after I defeat you and crush your soul. Gentleman Grunt, now the old people are on the team of Team Rocket too? Ooh, Dragonite though. That Dragonite, that can be a little scary. But I think uh, Windu should be able to handle him. Oh wow, level 36? That's it? You are so low leveled, it's not even funny. Wow, this should be a piece of cake. Clamp. <laughs> wow, that did a lot of damage. Dragonite clamped down on Windu. Ew. Ew. I'm guessing it's using its wings for clamp. It's going like <laughs> with its wings. But we got rid of him. Get out of here, Dragonite. I can't believe this thing is only level 36. We just fought level Pokemon in the 40s. And now this grunt is sending out Pokemon at level 36. That's embarrassing, quite honestly. Alright, let's go for Flamethrower and get this one out of here too. I don't think it'll be a one-hit KO, but it'll be pretty close. Let's see, how much can we do to this fear? Oh, wow! Oh, critical hit. That's nice. Good job, Windu. Nice job. You are doing awesome in here. I'm so proud of you. I'm stunned! Oh, me too. Me too. Now, I think this over here is the TM for Flamethrower. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. It's about time we can finally get a good move. Oh, that's not the button I was looking for. It's about time we can finally put a good move onto Dooku. Let's bring Dooku back. As good as Windu has been this episode, I'm going to put uh, Dooku back on the team for now. And we'll get rid of Fire Spin and teach him Flamethrower. I have been waiting for this for such a long time. This is such a great moment. It's so nice to have Dooku back. What are these two items over here? Rare Candy, and what's the third one? I'm hoping it's not like a Voltorb or Electrode and a Pokeball. Nope, Max Revive. Well, that's kind of useless. We don't need that. Now, I think the next floor that we'll want to go to... Oh, wait, why didn't I get this item over here? Let's do that too. Full Heal. I think the next floor that we want to go to is the fifth floor? 
So I think you could go through this whole building by only going on like two or three floors. So let's try the fifth floor. It's been a little while since I've went into Silph Co, but I think this is the way to go. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Is it over here? Yes, there's Archer and there's some Grunt. You. Oh, wow, are we getting into a battle with Archer right now? I totally forgot. Oh, no. Ha, huh. Poketips. You know that old guy? Yes, I do. I beat him once before. So you're fool enough to get in our way. That's it? What brave little boys. Wait, aren't they the ones who are getting in the way? Not even. Mr. Archer's saying you're in his way, all right. You want to go home in tears or what? Calm yourself. I'll teach these children a good lesson. Ooh, we gotta fight Team Rainbow Rocket Archer once again. Let's do it. Ooh, and the Sailor Grunts. See, I knew. I knew the Sailor Grunts were in cahoots with Archer. I knew it. So, they've got Persian and they've got Pinsir. Rest in peace, Maz. Oh, wow. We are gonna destroy that Pinsir. We're gonna take care of that thing really quickly. Let's get that out there first. And now we can remember... Oh, wait. The Grunt only has two Pokemon. So, actually, I noticed that a little too late. It would have been smarter for me to take out the Grunt first, so we could have turned this battle into a 2v1, but it doesn't really matter. Nice, we got the pincer out of there. There's only one Maz, and that was not it. Rest in peace, Maz. I really miss you. Going for a facade on me, but that's doing so little. What a facade. And Rapidash is going for glare for some odd reason. I don't know what YouTube's doing. But, ooh, Venomoth. So your whole team is really weak to Dooku. I'm liking this. Let's go for Flamethrower, knock this thing out too. Ugh, I remember that battle against Archer being so much tougher last time. Archer, you really let yourself go, buddy. You really let yourself go, working with the Sailor Grunts now. <laughs> that looks so funny, though. Look at Archer's face, and then look at the Sailor right next to him. He's so happy. And Archer looks so serious. Nice, getting all that EXP. Finn's at level 41. Good job, Finn. And you have Ember? Didn't you know the TM for Flamethrower was just on a different floor? You could have went and got that. That facade is kind of adding up now. Oh, wait! For some... Ooh, Mew 3! Look at that! Archer's got the Mew 3! Now that's pretty cool. But why? Why would you glare that thing when it has facade? My rival... See, look, YouTube is working for them. They're trying to power up their moves instead of making it easier for me. Now, I'm a little scared here. Just a little scared. So, what I'm gonna end up doing is... I'm gonna go... And just use a quick little super potion on Dooku. I, I just want to see how much I'm gonna get hurt by, you know? I want to see how much damage they're doing to me. Because that Persian is only going for me. I don't think we're going to knock out a Mew 3 right away. Oh, it's going for Amnesia. Alright, alright, not bad. Not bad. So we're definitely going to take out that Mew 3 first. Oh, sweet. Okay. So I could have went for an attack that turn. It's alright, though. We'll go for Flamethrower. I still think Flamethrower would do a little bit more damage than Wing Attack, even with that Amnesia up. I really hope the Rapidash goes for a Will-O-Wisp on Mew 3 to take that thing out. Because that would really cripple it. Let's see how much we do, though. Yeah, not that much. I'll probably switch over to Wing Attack after this. You're going for Poison Jab on this thing? Why? Alright, so now he has two Amnesias up. So that thing is going to be really, really bulky on the special defense side. I'm so annoyed that that thing has Facade and they keep paralyzed it for some reason. If you don't know, Facade does more damage if the Pokemon has a status condition. So it's like my rival's helping out the people I'm trying to defeat. But let's go for Wing Attack. This is actually where um, Dooku would actually shine rather than Windu. Okay, that person's almost out of there. Absorb. Such weird moves. That's really, really weird. I guess he'll heal himself up for a little bit, but it's not, not going to do too much. So we'll go for Wing Attack again. Hopefully we get a crit to do a little bit more damage and take this thing out of here. And then once we're done with the Mew 3, it'll just be a 2v1 and it'll be really awesome. Really, really awesome. Alright, so he's calling back Rapidash for some reason. Bringing out Scyther. Alright, not bad. I would love to have a Scyther. I would love to have a Scyther. Scyther is such a cool Pokemon. I'm shocked that I haven't really seen one yet. Ooh, that facade's gonna hurt a lot on Scyther, though. Ugh, we're bringing down this Mew slowly but surely. Come on. Come on, let's get him out of here. I need Scyther to do something crazy. Go for, like, X-Scissor on it. Please, take it out, because this thing has lived for way too long. Oh, nice job, Dooku! I'm just saying, we need to get this thing out of there, and Dooku's like, I got you. I got you. 
and Chewbacca's at level 50. That's insane. Ooh, Mega Horn. Wow. That's a strong move for Scyther. Scyther normally doesn't get Mega Horn. That would be incredible if it did, though. Dooku's at 47. Loving it. Nice job, guys. And one more Pokemon to go. What's that Sailor Grunt have? Ooh, an Arcanine. Alright, so he's probably going to go for the Scyther and leave me alone. But I'm going to go for Dig because, you know, super effective damage is pretty awesome. And let's see what happens. Look at that face. Look at that zoom in on that face. That was so funny. Okay, Mega Horn. And look, that is not very effective and it still did a really good amount of damage. So once we get out of the grounds, you know, that Ar Arcanine is going to be down. And this was a very successful battle. My team is so good now. Everybody is so good. I'm loving it. Anakin can definitely rest for an episode. He's done his fair share of stuff. Dooku and everybody else can truly take on the Silphco Rocket guys. And Arcanine, oh wow! Wow, why is he like on 1 HP? But, wow, YouTube actually taking Arcanine out, getting the kill. Good job! Good job! See, sometimes I think YouTube is trying to work against me. Other times, feels like he's on my side. Gah, again? What? <laughs> Thanks for the money, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it wasn't just a stroke of luck that you beat me last time. I understand now. We'll have to be more careful about you two. Out of the way! Ow. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Ooh, YouTube's angry. Go get him, YouTube. Hey, look, that grunt dropped something. Ooh, we got the card key. What's that going to let us do now? Well, before we find out, I'm gonna go heal really quickly. Alright, so we're back, we healed up, and now I think we go to the third floor over here. But let me just grab this item over here. What's this? Max Lore. That could be useful later on. But, we're gonna go over here, I'm gonna dodge that trainer because he's more likely gonna be super underleveled, and we'll go through this little teleporter. I think that'll bring us to the next floor that we need to go to. Up, oh, yep, there's YouTube. What are you doing now, YouTube? I think we might have to battle YouTube right now. Oh, there's Archer. That's far enough. You gonna try to stop me again after we just destroyed you? What? You again? Me again. As many times as it takes, I will not let you reach the boss. Well, thank you for telling us that the boss is over this way. Huh? What was that? Reach the boss? Poketips, do you think? He's right up ahead! So the boss of Team Rocket is right here in this building. That makes things easier then. Yep, thanks, Archer. You are a silly little guy. Old man, you'll be dealing with me. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going, let's deal with that boss. But before that, I think we're gonna see a familiar face. So, or faces. So let's see, who is good synergy together? I'll lead off with Wampa and Dooku. Cause I think we have to battle Jesse and James right over here. Let's find out. Hold it right there, twerp. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. <laughs> I will never get sick of doing that voice. Oh, are they jumping right into the battle? Yeah, they don't want to say anything else. Wow. They're really serious this time. Team Rainbow Rocket Jesse and Team Rainbow Rocket James. Let's see how this battle is going to go. We've had good battles so far. And right now, it looks like we have a really good matchup against both of these Pokemon. I'm looking forward to this. So, let's gang up on one of them. I think... Who's more threatening right now? I think the Executor would be a little bit more threatening because it might have Psychic. Psychic, Psychic is a powerful move. So we'll gang up on that Flamethrower and Ice Beam to take it out. Who is that? That's James's Pokemon. So if we knock out... Oh wow, that took it right out. Took it right out. Let's see, will the Ice Beam take out the Vileplume too? We might just take a double knockout here. That would be pretty awesome. Come on. Ooh, he's surviving. So, oh, Thunder Wave. Seriously? With the status conditions again? Gotta do this every single time? Oh well. Ooh, a Raichu! Now that's scary! That's really scary, and that is get out of this... That is something we need to get out of here right away. Alright, so, Dooku, we're gonna go for Dig, and we're gonna just try to dodge that thing. Now with Wampa... We don't really have any great swap-ins against this thing. So with Wampa, I'll just keep going for the damage. Let's get a little Ice Beam on him, because I know that Dig is not gonna kill him. Uh, Thunderbolt, he's way faster. But we can tank that really well, that's good. That's very good, we can tank that extremely well. That Ice Beam did a lot. We probably could have just done a Ice Beam and Flamethrower and knocked them both out. Now the annoying thing is both of my Pokemon are paralyzed. Now here's what I'm going to do. I know Raichu is going to try to attack Wampa again. It wouldn't make sense to go for Dooku. So I'll bring in something that resists it. 
we can go for either Finn or R2 right now. Let's try R2. I haven't used R2 at all. Let's bring out R2-D2. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake here or anything, but I think R2-D2 can handle both of these Pokemon extremely well. And the nice thing after that is I can set up a light screen to make everything do even less damage. Yeah, that did... that did alright damage. It wasn't great, but it did alright damage. Nice. Get that Raichu out of here. So James only has one Pokemon left, and they just had that Vile Plume. Yeah, oh, nice. Very good. Oh, wow, Duke just magically healed himself the paralysis? I'll take that. <laughs> and you've got your own Magneton. Okay, easy battle. I'm liking this right now. So let's go for Flamethrower. That should take out the Magneton right away. And then on this guy, I'm just going to go for Light Screen. I'm going to go for Light Screen so every all the special moves do less damage. Although I could have, and this would have probably been smarter because I'm going to end up getting paralyzed because of this, I could have just went for like Sonic Boom or Thunderbolt on the Bio Boom, taking that thing out, and then we wouldn't get paralyzed again because I know it's going to go for Thunder Wave again this turn. But, you know, this just basically guarantees that if he sends out any special attack in Pokemon, it can't do anything to me. Yup, there's that Thunder Wave again. I should have just done the damage and killed it. Oh well. Oh well. Can't change everything. So let's go for Fire Punch. Don't really need to do anything too fancy against this file plume, and we'll go for Thunderbolt. One of those two moves will take it out. Even if Dooku gets fully paralyzed, it's no big deal. I don't really think this file plume can hurt either one of us. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, two more Pokemon left. I love these double battles. Now that I figured out the strategy on how to really take them out, they're a lot easier. Okay, Rapidash, so you know we are getting, um, we are getting R2 out of here right now. And we could go for the Dig. I think Dig is a pretty safe move to go for. And R2, you're gonna come back, and we're gonna bring out Phasma. Phasma should be able to take care of this Rapidash easy, with no problems at all. Get back! And now go, Phasma! Show them what you got! Tank that fire move! Fire Punch again! I don't know where all these Pokemon with, like, little... Hooves are getting these fire moves, uh, fire punching moves from, but we'll take it. We'll take it. As long as they're not doing too much damage. Alright, so now I'm gonna go for wing attack, and I'll go for waterfall, because I think waterfall will do almost enough, if not enough, to kill it. But he's got reflect. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. That means he'll- Whoa! We killed him right through the reflect. Phasma once again showing me what an awesome Pokemon Phasma is. Phasma, you are so good in Dooku, you are just getting paralyzed like crazy. And Primate! Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. So Dooku is going to try to go for Wing Attack, and we'll just go for Waterfall again with Phasma, and that should be the end of this guy. And then that'll just leave the boss of Team Rocket, Giovanni, left after this. Alright, just living. Phasma, nice! Get through that paralysis, we got the flinch, and that is Team Rainbow Rocket, Jesse and James defeated once again! Nice job, guys. Excellent job, my team. As always, oh, I hate kids. <laughs> All right, you're done, James. You're done. Get out of here. Get out of my way. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. And now that just leaves the boss. All right, so I ran back to the Pokemon Center to heal up my Pokemon, because after those battles, I definitely needed a little bit of a heal. But I think that we're going to save Giovanni for the next episode, leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger, and next time we're going to go defeat Team Rainbow Rocket Giovanni, and defeat Team Rocket, kick them out of Saffron City, and save the poor old people in the Silphco building. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's good seeing how great my team is getting. I am so happy that Dooku has Flamethrower now. He finally gets the strong fire move that he deserves and Dooku has been doing nothing else but showing off how amazing he can be with a powerful fire move. So guys, I'll see you in the next episode. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Take care.